And a High Court battle begins today to block the release of the taxi driver John Warboys, who was charged with a series of rapes and assaults. Our Chief Correspondent Richard Gaysford is outside the High Court in central London with more details on this. Morning to you, Richard. So what's due to happen there today? Well, this really is the first stage, Charlotte, in a move to keep John Warboys in jail. It's being bought by two of his victims and the Mayor of London, uh, all of whom want a full judicial review into the decision by the parole board to let him out of jail. Now, what's perhaps more interesting today is what's happening in Parliament. The head of the parole board will be answering questions from MPs, all of whom will be trying to get into the mindset of the board as to why they decided to let Warboys back out onto the streets. His crimes shocked and now John Warboy's impending release from prison after almost a decade behind bars is causing outrage amongst his victims. It seems to be irrational um, that somebody who is um, such a prolific offender uh, and represents a real danger to women could be released at this stage. Warboys used his black cab in London's West End to lure in victims before drugging and attacking them. Judges will also hear a challenge from London Mayor Sadiq Khan, who's called for the 60-year-old to be banned from returning to the scene of his crimes in the capital. And the head of the parole board, which made the decision to release the serial attacker, will be questioned by a special session of the Justice Committee today. What are they doing to make sure um, errors that seem to have occurred don't happen again? And how might the system be changed so that future victims will have a better input and also the public will have that chance to be reassured? Publicity surrounding the case has brought more alleged victims forward. In excess of 100 women are now thought to have been attacked by the so-called black cab rapist. Richard Gaysford, Good Morning Britain.